Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adore Beauty YouTube channel. My name is Amelia and if we haven't met before, I am a beauty content creator, a makeup artist, and I've also worked in the skincare industry and beauty industry since I was about 19, 32 now, so that's a while. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about dry brushing or dry body brushing. Um, and this is a really popular treatment in the wellness industry. So I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to bring out a dry brush. Um, oh, this one's stuck. Okay, so what is dry body brushing and where did it come from? So dry body brushing is a traditional Ayurvedic practice. The name for it is Gashana and that translates to friction by rubbing. So that's pretty straightforward in describing what you are doing. So you are essentially taking a bristled brush. This one is a blend of bamboo and sea salt, I believe. This, yes, sea salt. <laughs> sea salt, <laughs> no sea salt. And you are basically just doing broad sweeping motions across your limbs to stimulate lymphatic drainage, basically re-energize your mind and your mood. What are the benefits? Obviously it's gonna help with cell turnover because you are essentially exfoliating and cell turnover slows down as we age. So anything that you can do to help you know, bring those new fresh baby skin cells to the surface is good in my books. Apart from that, you are helping with lymphatic drainage. And so really the technique is so important in this. You're not just kind of like haphazardly like rubbing your body with this brush. There is a proper technique. Okay, so when it comes to incorporating a dry brushing into your routine, I would suggest doing it one to two times a week, once a week to start with, so that you can get used to the, the pressure and the feel of the bristles on the skin. I'm not somebody who would do it every day. There would be people who would, you know, dry brush their skin too much and you don't want it to be irritating the skin. You can also do it on your face. I would use a different brush for that. There is one from Aveda and I believe the bristles are a little bit softer because it's your face. You don't want to be scraping, like I said, too hard. And would you do any other exfoliation on your body at the same time? No. There would be absolutely no need to then go in with a body scrub or an exfoliating like body treatment. Um, you would just be overdoing it. And also I would avoid doing it if you have psoriasis, if you have eczema, if you have any body breakouts, if you have inflamed skin, irritated skin, if you are somebody who's quite sensitive, I just would avoid it because this will irritate it. It will make it worse. And now let's get into the technique. So I'm not gonna stand up and show you my feet and my legs because they're just, they're not camera ready, <laughs> but I'll show you on my arms. And so what you would typically do is do this before a shower. So I often do it on my tier three shower day, which would be like a Sunday. And that's where I'm like washing my hair, doing a full body exfoliation with the dry brushing and then doing a tan, you know, the whole shebang. So before a shower, I would take the brush, start at your feet or at your legs. I start at the bottoms of my legs and then work my way up towards the heart. So everything is going towards the heart. So if you are doing this on your arms, for instance, you'd be starting at your hands and then broad sweeping motions up to the heart. And be gentle, don't push too hard. You don't want a lot of pressure on the skin. And then moving to the other side and so on and so forth. When you are going on your chest, be really gentle. The skin is much thinner in this area and you don't wanna be like scraping too hard. Broad sweeping motions and then use a different one on your face and use it in the same, if you do gua sha, use it the same way where you are kind of sweeping outwards, everything outwards so that it can drain down here. So that's the technique and then obviously just hop in the shower, um, rinse all that dead skin off and then hydrate. I personally love using a body oil after, but you can also use a body cream. You just want to make sure that your body is moisturized after you do this because you have just exfoliated. You want to make sure that you are hydrating your skin and protecting your skin's barrier. Miranda Kerr, who I found out about body brushing from. Um, she actually has a really beautiful body oil that you can use afterwards. And that one is the Noni Glow Body Oil. Um, otherwise, I really love the Kiehl's Creme Decor Body Moisturizer. That is heaven. 
on dry skin. So, so good. So the body brush is from Black Chicken. Um, this one retails for $34.95. Do you need to do body brushing? No, but we know how beneficial it is to exfoliate your skin. Everybody exfoliates their faces. So why would you not do the same thing for your body? But if you love the idea of incorporating a wellness practice into your weekly routine, then I think that you will enjoy this. If you have any questions um, about you feel like I didn't address in this video about dry body brushing, please feel free to pop a comment down below. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the Adore Beauty page so you can see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me again. Um, hopefully I will see you in another video soon. Have a great day, bye.